Hey everyone, I'm gonna show you one of my favorite Gmail options, which is creating labels and then using filters to filter things into these folders or these labels here. Basically what labels are, they're a very powerful way to organize your emails here right on your Gmail. And I like to think of them as folders on my computer. On my computer, I have lots of folders to organize different things from different documents and music and videos. So this kind of works the same way, but for your email. So let's get started with creating labels here in Gmail and then work with filters. They work hand in hand. To create a label for the very first time, just go over here to the settings page on your email and then go to all settings. I like to create labels from this page. And there's a tab here under all your settings called labels. Later, we'll look at this tab also called filters. So right now under labels, if you come all the way down, there's an option here that says create a new label and it will show any existing ones you have, which you could remove and edit from this page at any time. But right now, let's go ahead and create a new label, assuming we don't have any here. And the more clear you are with your label name, the easier it is for you to organize things into it. So let's just call this coupons. So anything that I get related to coupons, I'm gonna just put over here. But it could be anything for personal life or business. And you could also nest labels. So if you check this on, you could basically put a label into another set of labels here. So that makes it better for organizing things. So maybe if you have a label called taxes, you nest that into something called finance, for example. But let me go ahead and create this. This is all you do on this page for the label part. Now, once you create labels, if you look on the left side, this is where they appear. So coupons is the label I just created. The target deals was the one I previously made. And you could go ahead and press these three dots and give it a color. So like if I wanted to make this red here, it's gonna have this red label, which I'll show you how that comes in handy in a second. And you have other options with this, including removing it and editing it on this page as well, which you could do with any of your labels. But if you click it, it will bring you to an empty folder, right? Because labels by themselves are not helpful. We also need another thing for filtering our emails. So to do that, we need to create a filter. One of the easiest ways to do that is just from this tab right here under search mail. If you press this, it will open up your filters tab. So the way you create a filter, you see it's grayed out right now. I need to tell it what to filter exactly. And you have lots of different options, okay? So one of the options you have is you could just select who this email is from and it will put anything from that person or from that company into that specific folder. But you would need to type out their email address here. Same thing with two and same thing with subject. If they use the same subject line every time, which is sometimes the case for things that are newsletters or articles, you could type out a subject here, has the words. This is really helpful because you could put in whatever words that show up in the content of the email or things that don't appear in the content of the email could go over here too. So in this case, let me actually exit this page. I'll go back to inbox. Let's say anything from Kohl's I wanna put into coupons. So I don't usually know what subject or what's going to be in the body of the email, but I can click on the email and just copy their email address, right? I could copy this from here. Now, if I go back and click this again, this time I could say from, and then I could go ahead and paste that email address. Now, anything from Kohl's is gonna show up under my coupons if I create a filter from here, but it's a two-step process. First, I'll press create filter, and I'm skipping over some other options, but if it has attachments or you could sort by size as well, so you could really get advanced with this filters option. I'm gonna go ahead and press create filters. Don't press search, because this is just the search option. We wanna create a filter from here. And this is what you could do with filters. You could actually apply a label to it from here, as well as many, many other things. But in this video, I'm showing you labels and filters. So I'm gonna choose one of my labels coupons here. Okay, so that's all I'm doing. Apply this label coupons to emails from Kohl's. And you also wanna apply this to any matching conversation. So I'm gonna say apply the label and I'm gonna also make sure this filter is matching existing conversations so he actually moves things for us. So I'll press create filter on the very bottom. And if I go to my coupons label here, the folder, 
everything is nicely organized here. And the ones that ended up in my inbox are just labeled just like this. This is how those labels look. So for example, if I edited the color of that label just to show you what it looks like, you see it's blue now. So you could use these colors to really organize things the way they make sense to you. Now, anytime press settings on top here and go to all settings and go back to filters and you'll see all your different types of filters over here. So you could edit or delete any of them or add any more that you want. Now I always add them from this tab up here. So I'll create more filters here. Let's say this is everything from Target. I want to create a filter around that. And then I wanna apply a different label to it. And if you wanted to, you could create new labels from here. So you could press new label from here, label this Target and create that from here. So now it's gonna move it to there and make sure again, you apply filter to any matching conversation. So you could actually move things for you and organize it. And the last thing I'll show you is you could actually press skip the inbox too. So this will just archive it into that folder. It will never hit your inbox and I'll create that. And let's go to our target tab. And you can see 16 emails appeared over here based on that new filter and that label combination that I created. So you get the idea here, you could really make sure not only are you filtering out deals and newsletters and things you don't wanna see in your inbox, but you could also use this very well to organize everything for work and personal life and quickly jump into different folders. You can always as well grab any one you see over here and then put them into these like that and they'll appear over here, but they'll be moved out of your inbox. So that's another way I use labels and folders on my Gmail. I hope you found this organization video useful. Please make sure you give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.